Everybody talking about those smoky skies. I know, and listen, I'm sick of talking about it, and it's <laughs> awful out there. I am also impacted by that bad air quality. Part, part of what we're watching in the First Alert Weather Center is improving air quality tomorrow. More thunderstorms return quickly, and showers and thunderstorms will stick around all week. But what we're watching again is, of course, all of that smoke. And you see all that dark uh, uh, blue there along the border? Uh, that's where the worst of it is. So we're not nearly as bad as they are in North Dakota, northern Minnesota, and even into parts of Michigan. So they're getting the brunt of it. it could be worse. It could be worse. So let's head into the front range areas as we head into tonight. Obviously, we know it's bad in the overnight hours. It should get a little bit better. And then as we head into Wednesday afternoon, it should really start to ease up across the front range. So it may still take all day tomorrow to see improvement, but we are looking at better conditions by this time tomorrow afternoon. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar. We do have some showers in the high country from the southwest down into Los Animas County, but most of eastern Colorado is on the dry side, but that will change tomorrow. Tomorrow. We are looking at the possibility of some rain out there. So as we head into the morning hours, possibly a little bit of fog for parts of the eastern plains. A few showers uh, lingering in parts of the high country, and it is still hazy to start the day on Wednesday. So no, we do not wake up to perfectly clear conditions. I wish. And then as we head into the afternoon, start to get more rain and some thunderstorms in the high country. Maybe a pop or two around the Denver area, but it may be a little bit later that we see some storms blow through the Denver area near Fort Collins and some big stuff possible down in southeastern Colorado and even popping out toward the eastern plains. And even some late night thunderstorms continue as that chugs along toward the eastern plains. So our severe weather outlook for tomorrow, the front range not under any risk right now. That could change tomorrow, but we're on the fringes of it. So we still have to be weather aware tomorrow, but this goes all the way up towards Fort Morgan. The yellow you see on your screen down near Springfield, that is the best threat for some severe weather. So if you live in southeastern Colorado, be very weather aware tomorrow. And temperatures right now, 75 in Denver, 73 in Boulder, 76 in Fort Collins, 60s, 70s out east, and taking a lot. Well, not going to happen to the Weather Watcher map. 53 in Denver tonight, 53 in Boulder, 50s out in the eastern plains. Lots of 30s, low 40s in the high country, 40s to the 50s off to the west. And tomorrow, about the same, 75 in Denver, 78 in Greeley, 70s out in the eastern plains, 64 in Vail, 68 in Aspen and Gunnison, 80 over in Grand Junction. This kind of begins a fairly stagnant weather pattern for us. We stay in the mid to upper 70s. We see a good chance of afternoon thunderstorms for us, so that's kind of going to be the name of the game for the next several days. On Wednesday, talking about our burn scar areas, we are looking at the elevated risk for almost all of them. So with that chance of some heavier rain rolling through, be very weather aware if you live in any of these areas. And then on Friday, as we head into the holiday weekend, 76 degrees in Denver, 75 in Lyman, even the mountains are warming up, 73 in Steamboat and Avon, 71 in Aspen, and then 68 in Frisco. So it's warm if you're heading up into the mountains for the holiday weekend or if you're lucky to live up there. And then we're in the upper 70s on Saturday and Sunday, maybe even getting to 80 degrees here downtown. The chances for thunderstorms do continue through the holiday weekend. So if you are making those, of course, barbecue plans, you just always have to know you have to have plan B. You have to have plan B uh, as an inside or covered area just to be safe. You were talking about that smoke earlier. It's not just gross to see out there. People are coughing and sneezing in the newsroom today. Yeah, oh, it's nasty. We'll be glad when that's yes. out of here. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lauren. Soon, she says. <laughs> the Civic Center Conservancy 